More local news now. A fire in Muskego leaves a family homeless. Nobody was hurt, but firefighters still had to battle one significant challenge. Jonah Kaplan reports. By their own admission, firefighters explain this could have been a lot worse, but the house is still standing. No one was injured. Still, there was a huge response. The nearest fire hydrant is more than a mile away. The fire sparked just before 830. The residents and neighbors were quick to dial 911. I heard the family yelling, get out of the house, get out of the house, and I didn't know what was going on, so I looked out the window, and that's when I saw the flames. Brzecki said she heard more than the screams. The sirens blasted from miles away. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think there were like 10 trucks here coming from both angles, and, you know, it's sort of exciting as a neighbor to watch the department at work. With the nearest hydrant more than a mile away, firefighters hauled in thousands of gallons of water via tankers. The response drew five different area fire departments. It's like clockwork. We, we train on that yearly. All the departments around here, especially in the suburbs that don't have hydrants in all the locations, do that. The city of Muskego requires hydrants for all new developments, but firefighters estimate this neighborhood dates back to the 1960s. Installing a water line could cost $180 a foot or more than $59,000 from your house to the corner. Neighbors like Brzecki aren't sure the investment's worth it. They know what they're doing. They're good at it. Again, four people lived inside this house. No one was injured or taken to the hospital. Firefighters estimate about $100,000 worth of damage. In Muskego, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thanks for the update. That cause of that fire remains under investigation. But at this point, firefighters do not believe it was anything suspicious.